and it means a special lot to the man stood right next to me, Adrian Lamb, the head coach. Huge congratulations, a 19-game winning streak. Adrian, what are you doing with these men? Oh, just I think they're just playing for each other at the moment. Uh, you know, the 19 doesn't really matter. It's, it's the way that they keep turning up for each other and uh, big, big game mentality this week, and I thought they were courageous. And Adrian, how have you, how have you found the integration of new, new players? I mean, throughout the season, the recruitment has continued. We've seen recently Josh Charnley get recruited into the side, your own son, Lachlan Land, coming into the team. How have you found managing that recruiting and bringing these players into the, into the environment and keeping everyone happy and, and able yeah. to deliver the performances that you are? That's a good question because you've got to, you've got to make sure that the squad's happy overall. Um, it's been a difficult process to be able to keep recruiting with the potential of what the end result's going to be. So. It's just making sure I communicate with the players and, and be honest through the whole process, you know, and the players that have come in are, are quality players and, um, you know, someone has to miss out through that, but the club's been aggressive too in, yep. in, um, in the retention and the recruitment of new players in, with, with intent and showing, showing plenty of intent. Yeah, I was going to mention something about that, Lamb. I was going to say today you had a number of players who were playing at basically 9 out of 10, but for me, watching Blake Ferguson, I want you for a Cooper's E to have to... This competition, to rugby league's all in this country, I mean, he's a fantastic player. Only just stopped playing NRL. And still, it looks absolutely fantastic out there today. I really enjoyed watching him play. Yeah, absolutely. He's, he's a, a, you know, a world-class player, and, uh, but he's also a good bloke and brings a lot of joy to the players. He's a bit of a joke around the place, but just signed for another two years for us. Again, showing that intent as a club of where we want to head to. And uh, just his, his experience and just his power game. Like, he's a big body and he, he brings so much to us there. And, he just reminded me that he, he, he set up a few tries with his kick as well, which I've said to him, you know, I'm not sure if you want to do that, mate, but he said, just trust me. So, you know, it's, it's worked tonight. But it must be pleasing as well, Adrian, that you've got players like Blake Ferguson, who, let's be honest, he's a quality player, probably not going to be short of offers and opportunities, that he wants to stay at Lee and build and be part of that journey. Yeah, that, you know, I, I agree with that. And I, I think he feels that Lee um, looked after him through a difficult period and, you know, through the through our ownership of Derek Beaumont and, and Neil Jukes, the support that he's got there, he feels that he wants to repay the club with a two-year um, deal. So for us and our town and, and, the, and the fans, it's, it's great news. It's as good as it gets. For, so, you know, very pleased. Lammy, how happy was you with your son tonight? I thought he came on and he... Um, big cool. legs, yeah. <laughs> I, I, and he was controlled. He didn't try and do too much, but the stuff he did was quality. Yeah, look, he's he's been um, playing great in, in the reserve grade competition in the NRL. And we had quite a few conversations this week about making sure he doesn't overplay his hand and to fit in what, with what we're doing at the moment. I thought he did that reasonably well tonight, got a, got a feel for it, scored a try and debut, which is nice for him, so I'm, I'm happy for him. Um, Adrian, it's clear just how much this win meant to your men tonight, and it's clear that there's a really positive feeling running throughout the, the, the whole team. What is it that's keeping that momentum going, do you think? Because it's as much a mental thing as a physical thing. I think it's just a balance of, of making sure that everyone's on the same page, and that's the hardest part. I mean, you see some clubs in Super League and NRL struggling at the moment. I think it's because of that, that lack of communication. But I think the group understand where we're at. You know, we've got to keep our feet grounded because even though we've won 19 in a row, as you said, it doesn't really mean that much when it comes down to it. So we've just got to make sure that we keep our feet grounded and keep improving. That's the, that's the go. We're not happy with where we're at, even tonight, even though the score line was quite big. I thought, you know, we were clunky at parts, so we've got some improvement ourselves. Well, I mean, is that the danger going, when you're winning so well and so convincingly, you're not really getting in the ground, you're blowing everyone away. Is there a danger of peaking too soon? No, I, I think that's why the, the, you've got to have a why. At the, and it's not, it's not Super League. We don't talk about Super League. We don't talk about the million pound game. For me, it's everything else. It's about being together and the journey that this group of men have got together for 12 months. So if we just focus on that and keep working hard on the rugby side on field, the rugby takes care of itself. You know, you've, you've, they've got to be together um, and care about each other. I think that's the most important part, and they do that. So it doesn't matter, you know, what the, the, the whether we finish first. It doesn't matter as long as we're playing for each other, and I think you can see that, that we're doing that. Just finally, I just want to ask, what are those improvements that you touched on? You said you were clunky in parts and you've still got improvements to make. Just quickly, what are those, Adrian? I thought we, we didn't, you know, we, we forced a couple of errors on, our, on ourselves and, and at times when, when I, I felt all of Featherston's points came off the back of our errors. So that's the part that I would like to just tidy up a bit. If we can just minimise that, um, you know, we'll be better off for it. You're extremely humble. Huge congratulations <laughs> and thank you as always for joining yeah. us, Adrian.